Well, it really came from working with Jess McMahon's Barvier, who was the drum maker from Winnipeg. And um, when she made the drums, they were really, in my mind, just a surface to paint on. And um, when, when the drums were in my studio, they start creaking and popping and making noise. And I called her and she said, oh, the drums are alive. You have to take care of them. You have to talk to them. You have to like, you know. And so I was like, OK. So I did. And, um, and then when I painted on them, it's the most beautiful surface to paint on. But what's most interesting is that when I show the paintings on Rawhide, it does three quarters of the conversation for me because it forces a viewer to look at the painting through a different lens than if I did it on canvas. If I did those exact same paintings on the exact same shapes on canvas, we wouldn't be having this conversation. And so it's that communication of the material that kind of makes me addicted to it. You know, it really, it does immediately what I was trying to make happen for so many years. The shields reference a couple of things. One, the, sh the, the shield really just came across very evidently, but really I was walking around, um, I moved upstate and I was walking around in antique stores and junk stores and stuff and I saw these wooden ironing boards and I just immediately thought like, oh, that's the perfect support because I did see a shield in it immediately. But it also refers to both of my grandmothers who, um, really prided themselves and they saw their domestic abilities as uh, God-given gifts. And so it's something that, um, it's a nod to them, um, it's a nod to painting, it's a nod to parflesh, um, and, and they do become shields. Right? And you can see here, the surface is, um, they're very graphic when they're photographed, and they are graphic in person, but you can also see here that there is a lot of hand craft in there. So if you've ever been to a powwow, you might recognize some of the, the basic geometry that oftentimes people will um, applique into their outfits. And um, that was really what I was thinking about was how to communicate some sense of identity um, working within relatively strict parameters. If you're familiar with a parflesh bag and the painting that happens on parflesh bags, um, it was sort of me trying to, well, not even trying, but it's just sort of acknowledging that they're both paintings. You know, they come from very different places, but um, allowing those to happen side by side with ease.